All of your movies need to have titles and credits. Titles tell us the name of your project, and the credits tell us who made it and who starred in it. Adding titles is really easy. Put your cursor where you need your title to go, and so this is at the beginning, and then click the T button right above the timeline. This will open up the title editor, and you can type in the name of your project. Click OK. The title will get added, and in most cases it's probably going to throw it in at the bottom, and you're going to be looking for it and trying to figure out where it is. All you have to do is wait for it to finish processing, and then drag it up onto the, onto the timeline where you need it to be. So put it here at the beginning. Because I have the smart editing turned on, it's going to automatically kind of fit it in here and push this down a little bit. So here is my title. Hooray. Pretty simple. You're going to repeat the same process at the end of your video. You're going to want to put your cursor at the very end, and then click the T button. And this is where you will list all the people who worked on the video and who starred in it. And OK. It'll do the same thing. It'll add the title, probably, again, at the bottom. Just drag it up and put it on the timeline where you need it to be. And so now you have your credits at the end. Now, obviously, you're going to list people's names and things like that. Sometimes, though, you need to add text on top of a video clip. So while this clip is playing, I would like the words to appear on the screen. So it's the same process. You just have to move the title above the clip. So again, I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to click the T. And click OK. And it's going to add my title. There, let it process. I'm going to add it at the bottom. And all I need to do, once it's finished processing, is just drag it up and put it on the timeline right above my clip. So I'm going to put it right up there. And let the process. So you'll see that the text now is on top of your video clip. Now you're probably going to have to play around with the font styles and colors and the location of your text depending on what's behind it because um, if you use a white font um, on a white background it might be really hard to see your text so you might want to make those adjustments. So here's how to adjust those kinds of things. At any time you can double click on one of your titles to go in and make modifications. So you can select the text and you can change the font size, the font style. Uh, maybe you want to change it and have a different type of font in order to make it more visible. You can left align, right align. If I make it a little bit smaller, um, I can also then click and drag and move it around and put it anywhere on the screen that I want it to be. So maybe I want to put it up here or maybe I want to put it over here. So maybe I'll put it up here like that. Um, I could also change the color if I select the text. I can change the color here. The face would be the color of the text, the font. So click here, and right now it is set to be white. If I click this box, I can select a different color. Maybe I want it to be um, blue. So I pick blue. The um, trick here is to scroll down and make sure you click the Apply button, or it's not going to change. So now that I've done that, I've got blue text. I can close that. And I can also play around with things like adding an outline to it. Sometimes that helps. I click the outline. The outline, I don't want it to be blue. I want the outline to be, um, let's say, red. And again, I've got to scroll down and click Apply. And so now I have a red outline with blue text. And I can close it. So once I've made my changes, then I can say OK. And it will make those adjustments. Obviously, not good choices here. Um, but you get the idea of what you can do with your titles and your text. I can also get really fancy, I'm going to double click here, and I can make my text um, animate as it comes on screen. So let's just grab my text and put it here. Up at the top you have a motions tab. And on the motions tab you can choose how the text enters the screen, once it's on the screen what emphasis it has, and then how the text will animate as it exits the screen. So if I select my text and I click Enter, I have lots of different options and it'll show you kind of like a preview of what that will look like. And so you can pick one. And you can also then choose an emphasis, like once, it's, once it gets in there, what's it going to do now? It's going to you know, roll up, which is rolling up and down would be good for things like credits. Um, so on emphasis, let's just pick, you know, something like this. 
get really obnoxious. And then for my exit, I'm going to have it go off the screen by, by fading away like leaves. There we go. Once I have set all of that, and by the way, you do not have to set all of those. One of those may be great or none of those may be great. Too many different animations and motions might be a little overwhelming and obnoxious. But this is for demonstration purposes, so it's okay. So now that I'm done, I click OK. Give it a chance to process, which is always an important step. And now let's see how it goes. Oh yes, majestic. <laughs>